So it's time to texture the vending machine. And this is what we've got. I've got the Coke bottle in there and all of the parts that I want. I told you that I deleted that. And that part is gone. Now I just want to show you that I've got a number of materials here. I've separated the top from the main body and that's going to allow me to get better resolution or texel density uh, because each material can have its own UV. So for example, if I come into here, this is just smart UV projected, all right? Same with this, all right? And then packed. So I've got a top, I've got a body, I've got all this stuff in trim, smart UV projected. This is the door, so that's another material. This is another material for the windows, and if I just hide those, you can see this stuff inside. This is all part of the door. So all of this stuff will be, you know, one UV map. All right, so that's basically how I did this. I just, you know, unwrap. There's the vents, smart UV project. Okay, so um, I guess the only thing that I can tell you about, about this UV unwrapping is... Uh, there's nothing wrong with using Smart UV Project or Cube Project or, or any of those sort of automatic things. Um, just do it and try it and, and see how the materials look. Uh, if you're using Substance Painter, uh, what I often will do is I'll Smart UV Project this part and I'll bring it in. I'll do a test or maybe this and this, just those two. And I'll create an FBX, I'll bring it in and I'll see how it takes the textures. Because it's pretty much procedural texturing, they generally will work well and uh, and if not then go back and you can put in manual seams if you want but if you've got stuff with booleans and weird shapes not that some of this is too bad uh, you know it can be pretty hard figuring out where to put seams you spend a lot of time try smart UV project and see how it works for you it's not ideal for certain types of texturing if you want to put text or if you want to put very specific designs and you need um, UV islands close together and lined up and straight that kind of thing uh, but generally I'm finding it's working just fine so now that I've got that you'll notice that the coke bottle is out here instead of in there and I've only got one because what I'm going to do is I'll just duplicate this later um, when when you put everything inside um, depending on how you set substance painter for the ambient occlusion it will affect things that are close together all right and that's how ambient occlusion works so I'm, I'm gonna put this out here so that this isn't too dark because if I put it in here uh, it's it's gonna be quite dark all right so often people will explode their models even further or you can set substance painter to ignore that all right at any rate now that that's done you would select it all and create an FBX and bring it into Substance Painter. So let's do that. All right, so over here in Substance Painter, I'll go File, New. I'm gonna choose OpenGL for Blender, Select. And I'm gonna scroll down here to Vending Machine Unwrapped Video and click OK. And there's the vending machine. You can see the Coke bottle out in front and you can also see all my materials which are now called texture sets. What I need to do right now is to bake the mesh map. So I'll click there. I'm gonna do this at 2K, uncheck ID and just let this run. The maps are now baked so we can have a look at this and look for any weird shadowing or lines or dots or anything like that. But it looks okay to me. So that's a good sign. Just before I go on, I'm going to click here and I'm going to scroll down and turn on um, temporal anti-aliasing. It'll just look a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to start on the body. I'm going to delete the default. I'm going to create a fill layer, come into properties, and I'm going to switch this to triplanar. And I'll use color and um, color and roughness only. And the roughness, I'm going to drop down a nice amount to about 0.1 or so. And I'm going to go for a reddish color, like that. Okay, and turn off the manipulator there. And now to that layer, I'm going to right click and add a filter. And I've done this many times before. I'm going to choose this matte finish. And that's going to put that sort of, um, that streaking kind of thing. I'm going to use triplanar and bring up the scale to five or six drop the intensity and we'll have some sort of smudging kind of appearance to that okay I'm just gonna call this red 
and that's good there so what I'll do is I'll take this I'm going to copy this layer let's go to the top delete that and paste that in let's call this white and just change the color here to a, a nice bright white color so it should be shiny just like that but it's got some smudges in there all right good now um, I I also am going to want some of that in here uh, when I put dirt in fact I think I'll do that right now to show you that so I'm going to create another fill layer and use color and roughness I'll bring the roughness up close to one this is going to be for dirt so and a dark brown color like that and I'll just use uh, the generator dirt generator and I'm just going to drag that down so it's not too too intense so I'll leave it there for now so these ones get pretty dark and that's fine all right um, and so what I want to do though is I want to cover up that red and I want that red in there so let's just label that as dirt so I'm going to come back to the top and I'm going to copy this white layer here and come to the body and paste it I'm just going to drag it below the dirt I'm going to add a black mask and I only want the white in here so I'm going to come over here to uh, this one here polygon fill and just click there and I just think that's going to look a little bit a little bit better okay so we got that now we got dirt let's take that dirt copy that and put that on the top as well but I might tone it down if need be no nah, I don't really think that I need to I'm gonna leave that there let's go back to the body copy the red and come, and come to the door delete that paste that there so I'm gonna get the red on the door as well and I'm also going to want that dirt so I'll copy that layer to the door but I will probably I'm going to hide the window you can see it's very dark in there so I'm going to change this to about 45 let's try 45 you will start to see that coming through now on the door I want this part to be white so I'm going to come to here and copy that layer and I'm going to come to the door and I'm going to paste that in and I'll just I'll pull it below the dirt and I'm going to add a black mask come over my polygon fill and switch to mesh and click here I want that to be white all right so far so good let's get the trim going and the vents so uh, let's go back to here and let's take the red copy it and we'll put that on the vents that should go on both sides and we're also going to want some dirt in there so let's go back to the body and copy the dirt layer down to vent and we'll see yeah that's all right I don't have to necessarily do more than that okay so we got that going let's do the metal trim now for the metal trim I'm just going to use a smart material I'm going to type in metal and I'm going to use this steel dark aged I'm not sure if that came with substance painter or if I downloaded it but that's what I'm going to use all right and I'm I'm happy with that on the body however I'm going to come back to the dirt I just want to look at this I might bring it up just a little bit I just want this a little darker in there okay so I got the trim on there the metal trim I want that on the labels as well and light I called it a light but it's not really going to be a light so it's this one here I'm going to copy this smart material onto here and that's going to put it there and that's also going to put it down here and that's that's the look that I am going for so that's a lot of this stuff right there now let's see about adding right here another fill just color nice and bright white and let's do a black mask and a generator and let's do metal edges and let's switch this to triplanar and just bring the wear down just so that there's just a little bit along the edges here and there 
uh, maybe a little bit more grunge and you get a little bit of, of splotches here and there the top is white so if you get a little bit of white here it might look like white paint or maybe the red is scraped off so we get a little bit of this edges here so I'm going to call this edges and I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to copy this over to the door now I'm going to paste that on but we're just going to look now this has really sharp edges so you get more of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to reduce the wear level and I'm also going to change this to about we'll try 40 and I just want a hint of it there just a little bit there and that's good like that I'm fine with that so what do I need let's see now on the body I have dirt let's copy that dirt layer and let me come to the metal trim I have just that let's see what it's like with the dirt on there a little bit of dirt going into the crevices of that stuff uh, maybe I'll bring it down though just so that I know it's there okay and I will also put that dirt layer on the labels and light we'll try that just so that everything is consistent all right all right and that might even be a little bit too much of the white the, the edges but we'll see okay that's the majority of stuff let's bring the window back now focus on the window get rid of this now to put glass I'm going to need to come up here uh, sorry the shader and switch this to PBR metal rough with alpha blending we need to do that and also over here we need to add an opacity channel so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come to my smart materials and then I'm going to search for glass and I'm going to use a very standard one this glass visor uh, no you know what I'm not going to use that I'm going to use this glass dirty which may be one that I downloaded I'm not sure uh, let's have a look at uh, yeah let me try a couple of these let's turn that one off try windows glass okay not bad and let's try glass film I think that's the one I actually want to use I like I just like the dirt here I could have made that but I, I, I'm pretty happy with that you can of course come in here and uh, you can see the metallic is very high up for that and the roughness you can increase the roughness a bit if you want um, I'll just leave it where it was and see how that looks to me if I was to add a little bit more dirt let me see let's go back to this, this body and, and copy this layer and um, come back to the window and let's see if I was to drop that on does that do anything for me that we like that adds a bit more and I actually kind of like it so I'm going to stick with that now what am I missing I'm going to do the bottle now yeah let's let's just have a look at the bottle first of all for the bottle I want this red so that I'm going to the bottle cap and I'm going to paste that on there and I might as well do the other stuff that I want to do so I'm coming to the top I want this white because I want a little streak of white on this I'll show you what I'm talking about paste that layer I'm going to add a black mask and I'm going to come to my polygon fill I'm going to come to orthographic and snap to the side and zoom in like this and I don't know how well you can see this but I have added an edge here all right when we modeled this I, I didn't have this I went back so it would be easier to put this texture on so if you want to sort of delineate where the texture should go uh, that can be helpful I'm going to switch to this polygon fill and I'm just going to sort of box like that otherwise it would have got the whole the whole area so I've marked it off like that and I want so that's that's what I wanted there on the bottle here I'll come back to perspective so it's just a little touch on there and while we're here I actually will go back to orthographic I'm gonna focus on that bottle cap and I've got that I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna call this text I don't know 
what that is text and I'm going to come into the properties and I want just I want to get rid of that alpha I'm just color and I want it to be white it's going to be pure pure white but pretty white and I'm going to bring in an alpha that I downloaded from the internet no I don't think I downloaded I think I got the font for this let me think as I do this coca-cola png let me have a look at it first uh, define it as an alpha to the current project uh, let's have a look at this yeah I think I downloaded the coca-cola font and then I type that and put in the hyphen anyways I want to bring this down scale this down a little bit and I just want the word coca-cola on there just like that so that's done um, while I've got that there that uh, text let's come to the top create a new layer and give this some height as well make this a nice red color and bring the height up to about 0.1 or, or so somewhere around there and let's make sure we're in orthographic snap to the front and uh, control and right mouse button increase the size and I'm gonna put something nice and big right there a little bit of height and that I want that there and you know what since I'm doing these uh, labels and decals might as well do that and I'll come back to the bottle okay I'm gonna switch over to the side and I'm on this this is gonna I'll call this text alphas whatever you want um, this one I want just uh, just color and I'm going to bring in another uh, resource that I've got here that I have found on the internet this thing here co this coca-cola PNG that I found but this one I'm going to do as a texture and then I'll get the colors from it to the current project all right here it is I'm going to drag it into the base color and you see it looks kind of weird I need to get rid of that alpha now I have just that and I am going to I want no no height I just want color so it'll be kind of like a like a stencil or a decal you can put white underneath it and give it some height and uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do uh, over to the other side but I'm just gonna do it this way all right so I've got those on there now and I do want something on the body down here as well so I'm gonna come to the body and I will create another layer they, they really are alphas I'm gonna call it text anyhow and for this one I want just just uh, color and it's gonna be this this whitish color and I'm going to bring in that alpha now it's here and this was something made by a friend of mine uh, for me so you won't have access to it uh, that doesn't matter you do whatever you want there this little nice little symbol here zero bio cola I'm going to drop that in there we're getting very close actually to uh, what I wanted to, to do here so I'm going to come just back to the bottle glass and get rid of that I should have uh, alpha blending is on uh, but uh, there's no opacity here although you're barely going to see this and so I don't really care that much but let's let's uh, search for glass and maybe we're going to use this glass dirty again oh, I didn't bring it in the right place there and I don't have any liquid inside it that's that's fine uh, if I really need it in blender I'll put some in but that's all I wanted to do just for that unless I try some dirt but I mean it's gonna be so dark in there anyhow but let's let's give it a try just in case it looks better so there's that it's already got a little bit of dirt here really let's just try it and see if I put that on if it just becomes yeah it's not really helpful in any way I know I'm just gonna leave it like that and let me think if there's anything I'm missing I got the label I've got the decals on there the vents are done you know you could you could come over to the vents and uh, snap to the side view and uh, let's see I'm in orthographic right I could create a new layer and call this like bolts or something like that and give this a color and height I'll make this dark and I'll drop this down about halfway or so come to my alphas and find something that you want to put on there I this is a bolt that I've uh, bought and so actually I'm not going to use uh, 
Uh, am I going to use this? We'll see. Let's put that in there. I just want to make sure it's going on the other side. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't matter which side I do this on. So just quickly drop these in here. For something, you can put them, you know, in other locations if you want. Let's turn that off. Uh, if you want other bolts, but I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, with that done, I'm actually going to drag it below the dirt, and I'm going to um, add an anchor point so I can come to the dirt generator, and I can turn on micro details, micro height, make that true, micro height down here, find the anchor, which is bolts, and switch this to height. And then if I come in here, some of that dirt has gone into those. Let's turn that back to orthographic or uh, perspective. I take it back. All right, let's have a look at this. That's pretty much how I want to texture it, unless I'm missing something. And so, uh, what we're going to do is let's up res some of this stuff. And now I'm on the body and come up here. I'm going to switch this to 2048. I'll do that on the top as well because I've got some decals, decals, whatever you call it, and some text. So let's come to the top, change that to 2048. I don't have to do this for everything. I'll do it for the things that I really want to. I'll do it on the trim. All right, I'm not going to do it on, uh, I may do it on the bottle cap, although you're barely going to be able to read this, but I'll do it on the bottle cap. I'm not going to do it on the bottle or the windows. Uh, it's on the body, so the sticker is much more visible. Uh, I, I really don't think I need to do it on the vents. You can see those bolts pretty good. So that's probably fine. Body, top, uh, bottle cap, trim. All right, save. And it may take a, a minute or two to save because it's relatively high polyish, and I've got a lot of materials. But that's done now. I've got some glass in there, and I've done other videos on how to how to do the glass. So I'm not going to go through too much here. I'm just going to show you. I come to export textures. Here are all the textures I'm going to export. Uh, I'm going to use a PBR metallic roughness with opacity. That's just one. Uh, PBR metallic roughness is pretty standard. I added opacity to this. If you don't know about that, you have to go back and watch my other video. Uh, I'm going to find a place for this, so it's going to that folder now. I'm going to leave it at 8 bits PNG. That's fine for, for what I'm doing. And I'm going to click Export. So all the textures or maps have been exported. I'm going to save one more time. And we're going to head over to Blender and hook those up and see how it looks. Okay, so back into Blender, right? Where's our guy? Let's make sure everybody is there. All right, so there's our stuff. So we're gonna head over to shading and I'm gonna click on the top and then sh click on the principal PS and shift control T. Let's go into textures and we want top. Base color to roughness, principal setup. And there it is. Okay, we'll come to the body. Shift control T, body base color to roughness. Good. Let's just click on any of these. Trim. Middle trim. Good. We got door. Good. Let's hide that for the moment. You notice it's all inside there. Let's do vents. Or vent. Yep, looks good. We've got these guys, labels and light. And we're mostly done. Okay, we need to do the glass stuff. All right, so let's choose this window. Okay, so that's looking good. However, we don't have the transparency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to scroll down and change this to alpha blend and let that 
do its thing. And I'm gonna go screen space, I may do back face. Let's come up here, by the way, turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, and refraction and uncheck that. And we still need to come over here. And I'm not using displacement. You can get rid of that at, for all of these ones. So for, uh, not that. Let's actually delete that thing. There's my delete. And we can delete this as well. We come to the body. See, I've got displacement on and I'm not using that. Well, I'm not gonna do this in cycles anyhow and I don't need that. So you don't know whether you do that or not, I don't know. All right, anyways. We come up here, I pulled that out. I'm gonna go shift A. Uh, I think I'll use mix shader. And we'll add a shader transparent. And usually I plug that into the top and now I'll switch down. Let's see how that's looking. Okay, so I get that and then texture, image texture, and we'll grab that opacity. Bottle, uh, that's bottle glass. Uh, window opacity. Plug that into the top there. And we can see through when we get some of that dirt there. Okay. That's looking good. And maybe it's too transparent. Uh, up to you to decide that. And, and let's do the bottle cap. Okay, bottle cap, base color roughness. And we get our little Coca-Cola logo on there. And finally, bottle glass. Base color roughness, we do all those. And we can get rid of this. I mean, I can go through and get rid of it on all of them. And get rid of that one. here and we'll just uh, we'll come down to the materials and do the same thing alpha blend screen space maybe that okay and again I mix shader drop it in uh, what am I doing transparent plug that in and finally, an image texture with the opacity map for the bottle glass. And I don't think there's too much on there, but a little bit of dirt you can see in there. Let's hide the window. Actually, let's go out over to layout and look at this. Let's save this. And let's take this and this and bring it into its home I just want to see that it's gonna kind of clear the the uh, the window there and uh, I'm going to bring the 3d cursor there and that's the bottle right so I should be able to instance this along and not increase my poly. So I'm going to rotate this. Shift D. I'll just rotate them around. I'm not going to put one in the underneath part. So we'll just do, just do one or two more. Maybe one more, just actually at the bottom. Okay. Rotate. Bring the window back. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to actually hide the window. These are a little bit far out. So I'm just going to bring them back so they're kind of in line with the other. The, they don't all have to. In fact, that might be actually neat if they're not all sticking in the exact same, you know, position. Some are in further than others. I think I've got all the textures on there at that point. Now you look at this and you say, maybe that is a bit much. You know, that's where you're going to have to tweak it. But uh, at any rate, I'm going to bring in a camera. And I'm going to press uh, Shift-Control-0 to look through. And 
view I'm gonna lock camera to view and I'm going to come up here I'm gonna change this I'm gonna do this in EV I'm gonna put this at 150 and my resolution I'm gonna put at 1024 by 1200 that's what I want to use there for this kind of thing and uh, I got this other stuff on usually what I'll do is I'll change the ambient occlusion to one here and two here and that's good uh, I'm also going to change uh, film to uh, transparent I don't want, I want background I'm going to use an HDRI so environment texture open uh, do I have any room HDRI no let's go back a little ways I'm going to use, just use something that I happen to have and I'm not sure if that's the one um, let's see the scene world it's probably not the one I'm going to use um, I'm going to put this maybe at 0 0.5 and let's get out a camera view and I want to bring in some lights uh, I said I was going to put some lights in here some point lights in here and I'm going to do that and I'm going to bring that up to 25 maybe hmm uh, let's say uh, yeah we need to we need that uh, I'm gonna make it a bit yellower and I'm going to decrease the radius a little bit and maybe maybe I'll just go with 15 and put that somewhere in behind and I might do another one down here somewhere we'll see those are possibly too bright um let's go with eight and what i would usually do is i would um create a collection for lights and usually cameras as well so i can just operate them quickly and and put all the lights in in that kind of spot uh i'm going to bring in some area lights all right i'm going to scale that up I'll look from the side and rotate it and um, rotate it like this I'm gonna have this as a bluish one I'm gonna bring that up to about 80 85 or 86 I'm gonna have that there and I'm gonna take it and just move it and I'm gonna rotate it I probably will move it to a slightly different height and this one is going to be a more yellowish one and this one's going to be my main light I'm going to put that up to about a hundred and we're going to see if that is enough and I'm also going to have another point light out in front I think um, now what you can do I just want to show you something here you can see the reflection on there and I want to bring this up to 40 or so um, if you don't if you want the light but you don't want that you can decrease the specular you could turn it right off and you still get some light uh, I'm gonna switch this to contact shadows so we'll see if I like this or don't like this and I'm not, I don't think I'm crazy about it uh, and except maybe up there around the metal it almost seems like it should be there uh, but I'm not done yet I'm going to take this and shift D and G, bring it back and Alt R to reset the rotation. In behind, definitely want to have one in behind. I'm going to rotate that like this. And depending on where my, my camera is, uh, I may rotate this. I, I want the edges to be uh, highlighted a little bit if possible. So let's look through the camera. Right here, I want the edges. I want this to catch the edges. And it, it should, or it might. Um, let's come back here. Actually, let's do this. And let's go 0 0.7 for that. And let's just try a render and see see how it looks. Uh, save. This is an Eevee. Okay. I mean, I'm just doing it quick. But that's that's the general, the general idea of what I would want to do. I think... I might bring that back down and then you just adjust the position of your lights to get to get the effect that you want and the colors okay all right anyways uh, I'm going to do one more render from a slightly different position just to end this off and uh, we'll call it quits with this thing I'm just gonna render from there 
and that's what we get but that's that's what i've come up with all right so thanks very much for watching the series uh, i hope it was useful helpful enjoyable everything like that and we'll see you next time